Secretary Macro.com CIO Joseph Wong. Joseph, you know, uh, we went from Pivot Powell in, in October, Cautious Powell March 6th, and now we've got a Zubrin Powell. I mean, just how surprised are you with the, kind of, the, the amount of confidence that the Fed chair exuded yesterday? I am really surprised. And as Kelly presented, it very much looks like an immaculate soft landing. We got GDP projections revised up, inflation not really changed, and unemployment revised even more benign. So he's very much betting everything on a soft landing, and he's definitely not any Paul Volcker. I thought the conference was really dovish in a couple ways. As we all know, over the past months, inflation has been surprising to the upside. And when asked about that, Chair Powell was basically, yeah, January, <laughs> that's just seasonal stuff. Yeah. February, you know, that's actually not so bad, you know? So he, he seems to be downplaying and looking through what, what looks like inflation stabilizing at three and 4%. And, and not just that. So we have financial conditions, which I think everyone thinks are quite loose. Look at equity markets going to the moon. It's like dog with hat, a meme coin is going to show up on the Las Vegas sphere. <laughs> There's clearly a lot of speculation in the markets. And when asked about that, Paul is like, oh, actually, I think financial conditions are restrictive. Yeah, uh, I don't know yeah. what he's looking at, but it's not what anyone else is looking at. I was going to ask you, which set? I mean, I know Goldman has their financial conditions. City has one that's widely used. Maybe he's got something that you and I don't know about. But the idea that they're this confident on, on inflation just being a little bump in the road really is a, uh, amazing. And I, I got to be honest with you. Every time they say, well, January was cold, I lose my mind. Yeah, most of the time, January is cold. So more than one Fed official, though, uh, and this I'm reading from your notes, uh, you're saying that more than one Fed official thinks the economy is less interest rate sensitive, and that could be the big mistake. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I think that what's happening is that the economy is obviously less interest rate sensitive than we thought, right? Ask us a couple years ago, can the economy withstand 5% interest rates? Everyone would tell you that, no, we'd have gone into a terrible depression and the market would tank. But fast forward to today, Fed funds five and a half, and it looks like it's not doing as much damage. I think we've all come to realize that, but the Fed is slow to realize that. And I'll add one more thing, Charles. Fed Chair Powell yesterday, he also began to talk about the QT taper. And so even as financial conditions are already loose, he's telling you that probably at the next meeting, they're, they're going to be tapering QT. And that's another dovish, dovish in. So what we see in the markets, uh, the mar is a direct result yeah. of, I think, an exuberant power, as yeah. you so aptly put it. He was a lot more patient on the inflation side. I, I don't know how much of this is human emotion, how much is uh, miscalculation, how much is the election, but he certainly is his, his accommodative power to the day. To, that will give him that nickname for now. Again, if he pulls off the immaculate uh, uh, landing here, he could pick out any name he wants. Joe, thank you very much. We'll talk again soon. I appreciate you.